Do you know, in the United States, about 50 to 60 percent of nursing home residents and hospitalized patients had vitamin D deficiency, and in Europe, 40 percent are vitamin D deficient and 13% are severely inadequate. Vitamin D plays an essential role in keeping your body in good condition. But recently, it became a global public health issue. Research shows that worldwide, about 1 billion people have vitamin D deficiency. In this video, you will learn about the most common symptoms of vitamin D deficiency and the easiest ways to increase vitamin D levels. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to Genius Bay. So, what is vitamin D and why do you need it? Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that aids in calcium absorption within the body. It also helps with muscle control, bone density and immune function. Vitamin D also works with the parathyroid glands, which helps balance the calcium in the body by communicating with the kidneys, gut and skeleton. So, when it is called vitamin D deficiency, different reasons can cause low vitamin D production in the body. For an adult, the daily need for vitamin D is 600 IU. When your body produces a much lower amount than the actual need, it is called deficiency. People at high risk of vitamin D deficiency may need more. Vitamin D is unique because your skin produces it by using sunlight. So, if you are curious to know what are the symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, here they are. Getting frequent infections often and being sick. Vitamin D's most important role is keeping your immune system strong, so you are able to fight off viruses and bacteria that cause illness. Vitamin D helps support the immune system, it regulates immune function and inhibits inflammatory reactions. Fatigue and Tiredness Chronic fatigue, tiredness and headache may be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. Though there can be other causes, you should not ignore this sign. Taking vitamin D supplements may help improve your condition. Bone and Back Pain Vitamin D improves your body's absorption of calcium, which helps to keep bone health in shape. If you start to feel bone and lower back pain, it may be a sign of low vitamin D level. Researchers found that people with arthritis, muscle pain and widespread chronic pain tended to have lower vitamin D levels than healthy people. Depression Lower levels of vitamin D may increase the risk of depression. It can worsen with decreasing levels of vitamin D. Researchers found that giving vitamin D supplements improves the patient's condition. Impaired Wound Healing Another sign of vitamin D deficiency is the slow healing of wounds after surgery or injury. Generally, we know that diabetic patients face this problem, but researchers found that those who face slow wound healing have a low level of vitamin D. Bone Loss In calcium absorption in blood and bone metabolism, Vitamin D is the primary role player. If your bone mineral density is low, it can happen that you have lost calcium and other minerals, which can cause bone loss and fractures. The right amount of vitamin D intake and maintaining blood levels within the range can be a good strategy for protecting bone mass and reducing fracture risk. Hair loss When talking about hair loss, Anyone will accuse stress. Yes, maybe this is the most common cause, but when it is severe, you should think about the other factors. Disease or low nutrition level can be another reason. Researchers found that low vitamin D levels are linked to alopecia areata, an autoimmune disease that leads to severe hair loss. Don't be tense after knowing these symptoms. If you find any of the symptoms matched with you, take a blood test or talk to your doctor. And the good news is you can quickly raise your vitamin D levels. The easiest way to get vitamin D is a sunbath. Our body produces the vitamin from the sun's ray. Also, you can adjust your diet to get as much as possible. Fatty fish, cod liver oil and fortified foods are good sources of vitamin D. Doctors recommend supplements when they find it necessary. Thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.